Hi everybody, I'm Karen Hartglass with Responsibly Eating and Living. Now, whenever we talk about going vegan, I know so many people react and they say, I can't give up my cheese, right? How many times have you heard that? How many times have you said that? Well, there are more and more vegan cheeses that are coming out on the market today. Many of them are nut and seed based and some of them are actually made like traditional dairy cheeses are and they're really delicious. But here at Responsible Eating and Living, we like to make things right here at home in our kitchen and that's what we're going to be doing right now, making an incredibly delicious cashew cheese fondue. It's like a nacho cheese sauce. It's gooey good and it is great on absolutely everything. Okay, we have some cashews here that have been soaked overnight and rinsed. And this makes them really soft and creamy. And I'm going to put them right here in our blender. One roasted red pepper. Now you can roast the red pepper yourself or you can buy them. There's a lot of wonderful organic ready-made roasted peppers available on the market. And some dried red chili peppers. Now, there are some ingredients that give the cheese its cheesy flavor, and this is nutritional yeast. And it's used quite frequently to give different sauces and dips a cheesy flavor. We're also going to be using millet flour. I love millet flour. It's a gluten-free flour and it gives the, the sauce a nice thickness and a nice creamy flavor. Turmeric. Turmeric has a lot of wonderful nutritional properties and it's got a great color. Look at that. And a little salt. And some apple cider vinegar. You can also use lemon juice instead. And we're almost done here with the ingredients. Now, when we're making an extra special party fondue, we like to add a little beer. If you don't want to use beer, you can use water instead. But beer gives a really, really lovely, rich flavor. And a little more water. Mmm. And now we're going to blend all of this up together. Okay, it's going to get loud. Okay, right now it's a very nice liquid, and when we cook it, it'll thicken like a wonderful rich sauce. We have this beautiful, beautiful cashew cheese sauce now, and I have one last ingredient to add, which is miso. And we don't boil miso, and typically we add miso to a sauce or a dip after it's cooked. And I beat a little of the cheese sauce in with the miso so that it'll blend really easily. And miso gives such a lovely, lovely flavor. There are many kinds of miso. We're using a chickpea miso right now. But you can use any kind you like. Mmm. Oh, that's good. 